Hello and welcome to the show today. I have a guest that has worked within the business sector for 26 years and has consulted for Virgin Atlantic Airways all coming up on the show. Things took off there for me um, and uh, since then I've uh, been trying to uh, push the barriers beyond yes. where they are. Not going, and you definitely don't go with the flow. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and, right, and I, I spoke to him and that, uh, from there he put me with his uh, right-hand uh, woman, Elsa Redwood, and uh, she she mentored me, they, they guided me. I was fortunate to come in at the show, but also uh, fortunate to win and, and become uh, England's best barber at the time. Oddie, I want to touch on the Ruth controversy. Sure. And Snoop Dogg, excuse my whistle, <laughs> who call on black people to boycott the miniseries as he's tired of Hollywood portraying only stories in slavery. Have you or will you be watching Roots and do you agree with Snoop? And I'm paraphrasing here. That's when it comes to black history, there's a singular depiction that cannot be allowed to continue. Right. Yeah. What, what do you think about what's, what Locke's <laughs> Interesting. Um, because, of course, we understand him to be a very successful... Uh, uh, he's interested in terms of rap, and he appeals to a particular uh, age group. Yes. And he's been around for a while. So when he says um, that we are to boycott um, what many of us back in the uh, early or mid-70s uh, was uh, basically influenced by. Certainly it would have been something I watched uh, back in 75, 77. That's the Roots program, the, one, the first one that came out. The first one that yeah. came out. And, uh, but what he's saying is, is that it ought not to be repeated. Um, and he mentions Hollywood. So obviously he has some sort of uh, experience that would inform such a, uh, a loaded statement. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it would be somebody who has a more influential position yes. from other people who are not this position. Particularly when we look at uh, Spike Lee, mm. we look at um, producers like him and the films that he has, has, has done yes. and how it's influenced even the way movies uh, are shot now. Yes. And uh, the question would be, obviously people who present, is he gonna put his money where his mouth is? Is he gonna put his influence where his mouth is? Particularly where he cites that Hollywood um, needs to do this yes. because we all know that for every finger we point, there's three more pointing back at us. Yes. And so it would be interesting to see um, what he could get going, what catalyst, uh, because certainly the discussion is a catalyst. Yes. But from that, great, um, what's going to happen? Because we've all seen various individuals, various uh, people, very influential characters, um, having um, some difficulties um, in the media. Yes. And... Uh, we also know, you know, as a people, do we own uh, our own actual channels? Yes. And so when he cites Hollywood, and when we see uh, the awards that have been given out, mm. it gives us uh, a very sort of informed and triangulated view of, yeah. uh, of some improvements that politically could be made yeah. to represent and probably tell some fuller stories. Well, let's go to the point where you said previously. And there are great stories such as the Great Kingdom Aqua, in modern day Ghana, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Sultanate of Mangadisha in modern day Somalia, or the great Zulu kingdom of South Africa, whose stories are epic and cinematic as stories on the Roman Empire or Chinese mm -hmm. dynasty. Yet these are stories are never told. Are yeah. they never told? But how are they known? Yeah, good question. Or they're not told in abundance like how the 12, 12 um, years of slave is shown in, in roots. Is that mm -hmm. what it, what, what, what's that mean? Yeah, that's what you mean. Um, so we're getting one genre, but we're not getting a balance or a broad spectrum of genres that have been communicated. Yeah. Because obviously that's slavery. And then um, certainly we can have other categories of stories that could be communicated. I found out, I've got the idea. I've got the winning, the winning formula okay. out of sort of the pre. We have now, we're now in the present. We can make the present. But the pre is this. We're in the UK. And listen to this person, this is powerful. My neighbors, one of my neighbors, she's from Nigeria. I go to a church, which is a Nigerian pastor. I've got Ghanaian friends. Now, these persons are not descendants of slavery, i.e. that went to the Caribbean, like my fourth parents. Or mm. Think about this. So when people are asking the history before slavery, our neighbors, those walking around us, they know it. Mm. Are we talking to our fellow African brothers and sisters? I hear you. I, I put this out on record. Many times, sometimes, sometimes say, the, 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 there's this tiff sometimes between the African community and the Caribbean community. Uh, they're talking about like things like, you're a slave baby. <laughs> and, uh, and the Caribbean sometimes will say, 
you sold us into slavery. Mm -hmm. So therefore, there need to be now, what should I say, a meeting of minds and say, so when the question is asked, let's talk more about where we were before slavery. Mm -hmm. yeah. The answer, yeah. I would put it to you, is with our neighbors who are walking around us. No, I totally agree. I mean, I mean it was only the other day. I remember, um, I think about in 2009, and uh, I sort of just finished a class, and it was a, a, a class that just came out. Yeah. And um, there was a word that was used. They used the word to describe me. And they said, ah, Baba Audi. Mm -hmm. And I said, what do you mean, Baba Audi? And they said, um, Baba, in Nigeria, that means chief. Yes. And I said, wow, because in Jamaica, yeah, my parents used that term. And they say, yes, Baba, but we don't yes, know what it yes. means. Yes, Baba. Right. Oh, yeah, I've heard it for a long time. Yes, Baba, yeah. yeah. Uh. And, and then even there were some other terms as well that my, my wife was looking to on her side, and it was, uh, I think, um, she was familiar with a term called Naga. Yes. And uh, that used to... Is that N-A-G-G-O? Yeah. And, There's and a place in Jamaica called Naga Head. In Jamaica? Yeah. Naga Head, yeah. I'm sure, yes. Well, <laughs> this is it. See, I didn't know about the place. Uh. But then I know that her daddy's from Jamaica, used to use that word. Yeah. And he said that his grandmother uh, had used it. Yes. And then when we were speaking to somebody who's Nigerian, they said, uh, they were telling us what it was. I can't remember what, but he said, it's a Nigerian term. Yes, yes. So what you were saying, clearly, you know, he's communicated. But the interesting thing is with Roots, that was about, we see somebody in the film who insists when they uh, could have been whipped for that yes. or punished for that, they insist that you carry these words on yes. and keep them on and tell them to your children. Mm -hmm. And the power of that. And they were able to bring about sufficiency of pride that we have the program today because we can relate to that story. Because we all have a story that we never question. Well, one thing we'll agree, though, definitely one thing we'll agree, though, is sure. that we should never forget the yes. atrocities of slavery. Yes. Because the Jews will never let us forget. That doesn't mean to say they're not moving forward. Yes. And that's what the Caribbean and the African community need to also do is to, is to still move forward, yes. but never, ever forget. So I will never, personally me, accept the argument of moving forward just by itself. You move forward, but at the same time, never, ever forget. No, definitely, I agree with that, because um, the word memory is the, where the word memorial comes from. Mm. And um, the Hebrew word memorial means to inscribe. Yes. And um, what it is, is that many of the prescribed ceremonies of the Old Testament that inform the New Testament yes. revealed make up a lot of, for example, communion. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the Old Testament revealed of what communion was, you saw it was an instituted wow. memorial. And therefore, yes. God wanted that prescribed memorial yes. to become a memory so that the children would not forget. Yes. And when I look at the parallelism in terms of business, yes. we look at business and we have what is called learning organizations and yes. non-learning organizations. Non-learning organizations do not transmit information on, or the information is in the people, or yes. the information is in the system, or a combination. So what it is, is you have it in organizations, you have it in people, but it's a key area in order for people to progress. Because if the people don't retain, then the people are not able to attain. So talk about the business now, and how do business, from a financial perspective, can finance and produce on-screen shows of the future of the black race and pre-race? Are we waiting for Hollywood, or should we do it? Very good should question. the Silver show do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so, definitely. Oprah Winfrey, Tyler yeah. Perry. It is. Snoop Dogg. Well, that's that's what, that is what intelligence is. Intelligence is, is questioning the status quo which you have done. Yes. But what it is, I think, you question the status quo of the value chain that produces a film. Yes. So therefore, you have the person sitting down watching the film, and then you also have the idea in the individual. Yes. So there's a chain, and you go along that chain, and you assess yes. where is it there are barriers to entry. Yes. And you improvise, adapt, overcome that, and that's innovation, and that's entrepreneurialism which incidentally, entrepreneurism is a French name. Yes. The word entrepreneur means without resources, you go about to try to achieve. And you see, this is interesting because of course, what it is, the entrepreneur mm -hmm. is an artist and he's yes. just like Cezanne or Picasso. He's got something, he just wanna get it out. He's an artist. He's an artist and he's got a vision. He's like, you know, the person who invented Las Vegas and his friends think you're mad because there's a desert out there. Yes. He says, no, 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 he sees it. And what happens is the entrepreneur, he's got the guts 
and he gets uh, denigrated by his associates. Listen, there's a wealth of knowledge here that is dropping here. I like the bit about the entrepreneur is an artist. Yeah, he's an artist. Don't take it lightly. He's an artist that shapes yeah. the future. Absolutely, because in business, you have uh, two schools yes. within a, or two sub schools yes. within a school. So you have business, yes. science, and you have business of arts. Yes. And so you see the vacillation between science and arts, but really it's both. And what it is, it really comes down to distilled wisdom. Yes. And it is knowledge exchange. Yes. So when the actual practitioner, yes. who is different from the actual uh, lecturer, yeah. You have the lecturer who has a theory that's not tried, yeah. but you have the practitioner who's practicing all the time. Yeah. And so he takes the theory and he then tries it out. And then he takes the knowledge of his experience and feeds it back in. And then he tries again. And in the cyclical process, he develops mastery. Yeah. And through mastery, he develops individualization, competitive advantage, yeah. uh, leadership, um, and so on and so on. And if at any stage, he loses the momentum and focus. Mm. What you have is somebody else who comes in and they then take over and then move in. So if you're looking at Kodak and if you're looking at the company Kodak, where is it now? We don't yeah. see Kodak. We just people doing selfies because they f did not yeah. foresee that the actual mobile phone would have one of those uses yes. and we don't see Kodak now. And that's why VHS and a lot of these companies are going because everybody's in online now, not thinking ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, I can continue so much more and we're going to have Audi back again. But Audi, I want to thank you for joining us. But before we go, what's your mantra? What's your word? My mantra and word, succinctly put, yes. to summarize, is there are three types of individuals. Three there types are those individuals, who yes. watch things happen. Yes. There are those who make things happen mm -hmm. and those who wonder what the heavens have happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, Which so, one are you? So should we say Donald Trump is one who says, what's going on? <laughs> But at the same time, he makes things happen. But he's also the one that says, what's going on? You know, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And Audi, thank you for this inspiring, exciting show, which we'll have to come back again. For more information on Audi coming, visit our website at silburn.com. And please remember to visit, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Silburn TV, as well as our other social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on The Silburn Show. Hi, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share and like. And don't forget to comment, but first subscribe. Don't go with the flow. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs>